looking to change your look in the new year but you don't know where to turn well you have turned to the right channel you have an old southern classic dish what is it cowboy collard green soup full of ham black eyed peas and what tops it off a crispy fried bacon cornbread stick around folks this will make the new year the best one Hey folks, welcome to camp. My name is Kent Rollins and we're going to do us some cowboy cooking today. And we're getting ready for the new year. Everybody makes resolutions, but hey, today I'm showing you how to make a solution so you don't have to do all them resolutions when you're cooking something to eat for New Year's Day. You got to eat some black eyed peas for good luck. You got to have something green for wealth and stuff like that. Well, let's combine this all together and make it a one-stop shop. What are we talking about? A cowboy collard green soup with some fried bacon cornbread on the side. Whew, make me do a happy dance just talking about it, Will. Now, the recipe will be down below, and be sure now that you subscribe, you share it, and you like it. It'll mean a lot to me and Shan, so let's get started. First thing we're going to do, get us six pieces of that good hog meat. I'm talking bacon. Put it in that cast iron skillet and fry it up till it is good and crispy because... We're going to use it later. Yeah, save it. Don't eat it. Don't even think about letting the beagle have none of it because it's going to go in that cornbread here at the last. The bacon grease that is in there, I'm looking for about a half a cup or a little more. So if you don't think it made that much when you was frying, add you a little good lard to it or something like that so you can have some to go with it. So keep that bacon grease because we're going to use it not only in the collard greens itself, but also in the cornbread later. Let's take the lid off this rascal and we're going to use one box of chicken broth and one more cup to go with it. So go ahead and squeeze her all out of there and about one cup more. Now you see me take four of them carrots and clean them and slice them pretty thin because we gotta get them done pretty quick. So let's go ahead and jump them in there. Two garlic cloves, minced up. Go ahead and shuck them little rascals in there. And then we're gonna add these three hatch chilies that have been finely chopped up and they are roasted green chilies. Now, if you ain't got access to none of them, you can buy you some of them hatch green chilies already in the can. Then we're gonna take two of them 15.8 ounce cans of black eyed peas, don't drain them. Now, if you got the fresh ones, whew, I recommend them, I do. Put them in there, we're gonna let all that come to a boil. Then we're gonna go ahead and get started on this ham steak. Me, I'm gonna use a whole ham steak. That cast iron skillet that we fried that bacon in is the same thing that that ham steak is going in. We're just browning it good on both sides because this is a fully cooked piece of ham. So I just want to brown it and what's left of them bacon drippings a little, give it some flavor. Well, I bet it is brown on both sides just like I like it. Whew, that bacon grease did its job, what was left over in there. So I just want to cut this. I usually go ahead and separate them little muscles out of there. That way when I'm cutting, everything's gonna have a place to go, but it's still good and tender. So I'm gonna cut this into bite-sized pieces. So that's a pretty good bite for me and the beagle. Oh, beagle, you like to gut that one, buddy. Do you like your bites about like this, or is this pretty good, you think? Well, we'll see. Oh, he says that'll do. And let's get it all in the pot. And Big says if you drop some, it's okay. He'll pick it up. Now, ham is sort of a salty bite of meat in the first place. So we ain't going to add too much salt to this chicken broth mixture, just a tad, because we will season it to taste right at the end. A little bit of black pepper. Put the lid on it. We got it on a simmer. Now, while that is sitting there simmering, let's go ahead and fire this cast iron skillet back up. Remember that there bacon grease that we had? We need two tablespoons for later, so put that back in here. We'll need that for that cornbread. Go ahead and dump that in there. What comes next? A yellow onion that we got diced up. We're gonna cook that till it gets good and tender. Guess what time it is? It's collard green time. Now, folks, when you go to the store, you can buy is what I'd call one bunch of collard greens. But we got to take that old big stem out of them. 
this part don't go. So them onions have got translucent and tender. So let's bring them over here next to these collards that we have took all the stems out of them. Now on them bigger leaves, I just try to just roll some of them little rascals up together. And then you can just chop them across here. And then one more time and you got pretty well bite sized pieces. Now they are going to shrink down a lot. Look there. So we're going to put this back over here on our burner. And folks, you can't just add all them collards right at the same time. So I like to do about half of them and we'll go ahead and mix them around with that onion and let them cook down a little. And then we'll put the rest in there. And you can see how much they've already started to shrink. You heard us talk about the black eyed peas was for good luck. My mother said you got to have some greens for wealth. Now my daddy told a story one time that we was working down there in the cow lot and we just stepped in our green for wealth. But if you ain't got no cow patties to step in folks, you can just do it this way. We're gonna let this cook down just a minute or two here. And my mother said you wouldn't cook in true collards if you didn't add a little of that white vinegar to it at about this point. About two teaspoons, which is about a big cap full of this right here. Go ahead and let that cook down again. It breaks down the acid and the bitterness in them. But now you wanna cook this down till you think most of that bacon grease has been incorporated into them greens. And what happens now, folks, it all goes in the pot. Okay. Put a lid on it. We're gonna turn it down to where it's on a simmer. Hey, now y'all don't run off. Don't quit me just yet, just because that soup is boiling, because we ain't near through. We are fixing to take us some cornbread, and make it crumble up some bacon in there. We're gonna put a little lard in that cast iron skillet and fry it and whew, we're gonna use two cups of yellow cornmeal and a half a cup of flour. Four teaspoons of baking powder. A little black pepper. A tad bit of salt. Two cackle berries, unbeaten. I like to mix that dry together, make sure everybody is mixed up well. We're getting closer, big. Remember them two tablespoons of bacon grease that we saved? Go ahead and dump them in there. And if there's any of them little drippings left in there like that, make sure you get them too. About a cup and a half. Get you a whisk. I like to start over there where them eggs is and make sure that we just get them crunched up pretty good. And then we just go to blending it all together. So we may add just a little more cornmeal to it right at the end to thicken it up just a tad. Because it's a little thin. So we're going to add a little more to it. You can see that it, when you get a dollop of this, it'll sort of stay on there. I don't want it thin as pancake batter, but we don't want it so dry either. But I sort of want it to set up. But remember them six pieces of bacon? We gotta crumble them up and put them in this cornbread. Give it a good mixing again. We got that cast iron skillet over there. Cup and a half of lard. Now if you can't find lard, get you some Crisco. But if you look around, they make different kinds of lard at grocery stores. And if you can get the pure lard, it is gonna make this the best. Our lard has done melted. We got our cornbread mixed up with our bacon in it. And I like to take about a good spoonful. Just drop it right in there. You can make them as big, as small as you like. You can give them a little pat in there if you think you need to level them out a little. Now, you're gonna see this crisp up, get really good and golden brown along the edges, and that's when we know it's gonna be time to flip, and not until then. I'm gonna separate them two fellas. There's Joan there, there was. 
But if Shan will zoom in here, you can see how this is beginning to brown along them edges. So let's just take a look. I'll probably go back and crisp it up just a little more, but he was the first one in the boat, so we're going to see what happens. wish y'all was here. If Shanna zoom in, maybe y'all can smell it. We've got a new deal this year called You Ain't Gonna Smell It Vision. And when you reach down in here, there's so much good color and good broth in there. Got some of them greens, ham, black-eyed peas, onion, carrot. I wish y'all was here, I do, because this is gonna be some fine dining. I hear some of you out there always say, oh, I don't be liking me no collard greens. I'm not gonna eat nothing got them greens in it. Folks, they give so much flavor to this deal, but the ham, the black-eyed peas, it all blends so well in there. I'm going to take me a piece of this here bacon fried cornbread. See that bacon in there? Whoo! I like to do this first right here. Just have me a little dip in there while that is cooling. Mm. 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 Oh my gosh! I'm going to do better, but it's burning. You're going to give me a minute. He's happy new year to y'all. Woo! I feel good. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Oh man, them collards is what's happening. Reach in there and you get a bite of some of all that. And you can crumble that cornbread up in there if you want to. All the flavors and aroma that is coming off this should drift throughout the house. And even them people that partied all night long on New Year's Eve, this should wake them up. But if it don't, Take you a bucket of cold water in there and throw on each one of them and tell them I'm come to the table because we're fitting to start the New Year's Day feast we are. And we got you all covered here. Black eyed peas for good luck, the greens for the wealth. Whew, you'll be a millionaire by tomorrow time you make this. Well, we thank you for dropping by. We hope you learned something today. And as always, I tip my hat to all them veterans and all those who have served and them that are serving to keep that old flag flying free there on the wagon. Our wish to you throughout this new year is that you have good health, you have good friends, and you have a good time in life because that's what it's about. So from me and Shan and the Beagle, we wish you Happy New Year's. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, share the food and the video with your friends. See you down the collard green trail.